Hold it all. Now this one. Now this is an old one. It goes back to my first uh, book of rhyme, uh, The Ramblings of a Would-Be East End Poet. Oh, look. It's <laughs> this one. <laughs> um, I've changed it up a little bit because I like to do that when I'm going back on them. And uh, it goes back to a time when I was 60 years old. And our, because I live in London, our beloved mayor, who at the time, incidentally, was Uncle Boris, uh, gave us all free bus passes. Bless him. And um, yeah, so here we go. Life in the bus lane. And it goes like this. <clears throat> now, I got me a bus pass from Boris. So I could travel to free around town. I could go on the Docklands Light Railway or the bus or the whole underground. I got it because I turned 60 and they figured that I'd paid enough. But the truth is, I never used it before. I got my own car for that stuff. But here I am on public transport. And the city does seem kind of strange. I can go anywhere without ever a care about parking or having the right change. Now the rush out, trust me, that's mental. You don't want to go out in that. But the fun there can be between, say, 10 and 3, beats driving into a cock hat. The buskers who play on the underground and the driverless DLR trains. The traffic lights, roadworks and diverted traffic. The buses treat all with disdain. And now, of course, we've got the Elizabeth line, all shiny and just off the shelf. From the east end to the west end in just 20 minutes. I tell you, I don't know myself. <laughs> Travelled all over me, oyster and me. Underground, overground, wobbling free. <laughs> but it's over and nap now. I'm feeling quite tired. Life in the bus lane. I'm glad I'm retired. God bless. Have a great day.